Today we're going to look at bivariate data and scatter plots. The learning goals for today's lesson are that by the end of this lesson you'll be able to draw a scatter plot of a bivariate data set, describe the correlation between variables in a bivariate data set, and also identify any outliers. So bivariate data includes data for two sets of uh, variables, so two sets of data that might be linked. So the two sets that could be linked could might be people's heights and weights. They're, they might be linked. We might be able we can graph them on the same set of axes, put um, and graph um, using a scatter plot. So a scatter plot, uh, scatter plot here graphs the two sets of data, one on each axis. So we might graph. Uh, the people's height on the x-axis and their weight on the y-axis. We can out identify any outliers by looking at any of the points that are isolated from the rest of the data. So for example, the outlier that's identified here, it's significantly away from the majority of where the data um, lies. We can also look at describing the correlation and association of the data. So we might just be generally asked what's the correlation of the data and includes discussing the association as well. So talking about whether or not it's a positive or negative, uh, weak, moderate, strong or perfect association. So if we think about um, or we have a look at a set of data, any data set where the data is seems to be having a bit of a downward trend, that's a negative trend. So this is negative. And any data set where there seems to be a general positive trend, where, uh, sorry, there seems to be a general upward trend, where they're positively linked, uh, is called a positive correlation. So what we can, uh, or the, the, the way we can kind of describe these uh, is we can say that if it's a negative correlation, then they're inversely proportional, looking like they're inversely proportional. And then if they're a positive cor correlation, they're directly proportional, so directly um, moving upward. So we can see that there's a, a scale of correlation. Each of these numbers, this number, the numbers down the bottom here are called the correlation coefficient. Okay, so each of these numbers that are down here, they're the correlation, correlation coefficient. And it describes, that number describes just the kind of correlation that we have. If we have a correlation of one, then it's a positive relationship, it's in positively increasing. And if it's perfect, that means that there's no deviation from that positive increase. They're po perfectly aligned. If we look down the other end of the spectrum, the other extreme, a perfect negative one is where we have, or a perfect negative correlation is where we have all of the data points lining up in a straight line um, and moving straight downward rather than upward. We can see in the middle here that a correlation coefficient of zero means there's no relationship. That means it's neither increasing nor decreasing. It's very difficult to see. The data looks very muddily spread out. And in between those kind of points, we have um, a moderate positive correlation where we can still see a general upward trend, um, but the data is still spread out, and a moderately negative trend where the data still seems to be generally decreasing, but it's still quite spread out. So it's a, we're looking at a scale here from weak all the way through to perfect on how uh, well the correlation actually occurs, so how closely packed and closely um, associated the data points are, and whether it's increasing or decreasing, so whether it's positive or negative. So let's have a look at an example here. We've got a following data set. This is bivariate data. The two variables here given are X and Y. They're the two variables in our bivariate data set. Um, we're asked to create a scatter plot of the data, describe the correlation of the variables X and Y, and identify any possible outliers. So we've got our set of axes here. Um, it's important when we're drawing up our axes to have a look at the smallest and largest values. So the smallest value that we have for our x is 2 and our largest value is 17. So we need to make sure that those can be plotted on the x-axis. And our smallest value um, on the y-axis is 0 0.9 and our largest value on the y-axis is 6.2 here. 
Okay, so we need to be able to plot those as well. So let's plot every data point. Having a look here, 13 along the x-axis and 2.1. So 13 along the x-axis is about here and 2.1 is about here. So we put a little x where our data point goes. Uh, 9 on the x-axis and 4. So 9 and 4 about here. Uh, 2 and 6.2. So 2 along here on the x-axis and 6.2 up here, whoops, 17 and 1.3, 17's about here, 1.3 about here, 3 and 5.5, 5 .5. 3, 5.5 .5. here, um, 0 0.9 and 6, 6. Uh, three, oh sorry, 0 0.9 and 6, got that one around the wrong way, so ignore that one there, ignore that one. So we have, sorry, 0 0.6 along on the x-axis and 0 0.9 up here, 6 and 0 0.9 about here, and then 8 along the x-axis and 3.5. 3.5 about here and 15 and 1.6 15 along or 1.6 are around about here so we've plotted our uh, data points on our x and y axes here we've plotted our bivariate data and we can see that the trend is generally decreasing it's generally decreasing so it's a negative trend so it's definitely so for answering part B we've got a negative trend. It's going downward, okay? As one variable increases, the other one decreases, a negative trend. Is it gonna be strong or weak? Well, the data points are very, very close together. The data points are very, very close together. They're not very well spread out. So I would say it is a strong correlation, a strong negative correlation. We're also asked for C to identify any outliers, and certainly this one point here, 6, 0 0.9, 6 and 0 0.9, is certainly going to be an outlier. So we can say here, uh, 6, 0 0.9 is an outlier. And it's an outlier because it's it's sitting very, very far away from the rest of the data. All of the data exists in this sort of area. And then our outlier here, our outlier exists very, very uh, far away from that general uh, point. So let's have a think about the learning goals. So we know now how to plot bivariate data on a scatter plot. We know that we can describe um, the correlation uh, as either um, weak, moderate, strong, perfect, and positive or negative. And we can also uh, look and determine outliers that sit far away from the main set of data.